Turning now to the Biden presidency, where a growing immigration crisis is a top priority. President Joe Biden taking steps over the weekend to help border officials process the wave of unaccompanied minors showing up at the southern border. CBS4's Natalie Brand is on Capitol Hill, where Congress is playing the blame game. The Biden administration has ordered FEMA to help address the surge of unaccompanied children at the border. Former FEMA administrator Craig Fugate helped manage a similar situation in 2014. This is a humanitarian yeah. mission. I don't give a rats about immigration policy, what's caused this, why it happened. They're here, they're kids. We're going to treat them that way. CBS News has learned Border Patrol has 4,200 unaccompanied minors in short-term holding facilities. The law requires them to be transferred to more appropriate facilities within 72 hours, but many children have been there far longer. A lawyer representing some of the children told CBS News the conditions were so overcrowded that the kids had to take turns sleeping on the floor. What we're seeing today is an enormous challenge, and it's unacceptable. A group of Republican lawmakers led by House GOP leader Kevin McCarthy is visiting the border today. Republicans blame the new administration for the surge at the border. The Biden open border policies uh, that are inviting even more illegal immigration. What the administration has inherited is a broken system at the border and they are working to correct that. The House is expected House to debate two immigration bills this House. week. One would protect dreamers, undocumented immigrants brought to the U.S. as children, and the other would provide legal status for farm workers. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Capitol Hill.